Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And Let's debunk this myth where people say that 15 inch subwoofers of any brand. Uh, 15 inch slug words are slow and not as responsible and not are not and not as responsive as smaller drivers. Eights, tens are quicker and more accurate reproducing the bass. That is not true. That is a serious fallacy. That is a big myth. Let me explain something to you. It goes back to why I tell you all the time, Conan is king. When you are reproducing music, well, subwoofers are used to reproduce. Uh, low frequencies, uh, 30 hertz, 32, 40, 45, 65, whatever you like. I like 33 hertz. Uh, and I like everything around that region, 32, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. That resonates with me. Well, a frequency, when whatever frequency you pick, is one cycle in a second. So when you say you want a, a 33 hertz, that means the cone of this sulfur and this woofer, any size, is moving 33 times in a second to reproduce a 33 hertz tone. A cycle is the ability of the subwoofer to go forward. Oh boy, yeah, watch you, boy. <laughs> the ability of the subwoofer to go forward, back, and back to rest. That's one cycle. From standstill, from standstill, the subwoofer, the cone, either side, must go forward, back past rest, then back up to rest, where it started at. That's one complete cycle. So whenever what hertz frequency you're listening at, 33, 45, 42, 48, whatever the frequency is, the woofer must do that movement so many times a second. 33 hertz, 33,000 times, it must cycle. Forward, back, to rest. 33 times. 45 hertz, 45 times. 10 hertz, 10 times a second. The larger subwoofer is doing the same, 33 hertz here is doing, it's going to move 33 times a second the same way as this subwoofer is moving 33 times a second. That's how it reproduces that frequency. That's not going to change. It's not going to be the smaller driver is going to do it quicker. No. You must do it that many times a second to attain that frequency. That's how you produce that sound. It's just that with the larger subwoofer, because it's such so larger, it might not seem as though it's moving that many times. But what is actually happening, though, it is moving more air per each cycle than the smaller driver, which makes it more efficient at reproducing the sound. Because bass is, bass is the rarefying and compression of air. That's what you perceive as sound. You're moving air, thinning it, thickening it. When you're whistling, you're shrieking it. When you make a deep bass, you're making your voice deep, you're, you're, you're compacting more air and moving slowly. That's what a subwoofer does. But it's, whether it's a 33 hertz tone, 45 hertz tone, a 20 hertz tone, it's moving the exact, the larger subwoofer is moving the exact amount of times as the smaller driver. Well, the bass is muddier, not as accurate. That's where you get that from. How? It's doing the exact same thing. It's just doing it on a larger scale. People ask me to tell me why, why do I run eights? Because that's what I can run accurately in my application. But when I get my Tahoe and my large SUV, I'm going to be running 15s. Most likely these, no, most likely going to be the, the solo, <laughs> going to be the solo 15 for me. Not saying that's the perfect solo, but for me, that's what it's going to be. We going, I'm not getting, I'm not working with small drivers when I got that much space. If I got that much space, I'm going straight to the 15s. I got when I get my large SUV, I'm running 15 or 18s. I'm getting over with. There's no sense in playing with the base. I'm going straight to what I want to, I want to move air. 
And if I have enough space to move the ad correctly, what are we gonna do, baby? We gonna, yeah, I, I married a woman with 15. <laughs> I like butt. I didn't want no little bitty butt. I want a big butt. Get it over and get it done with. 15. That's what the same thing, analogy, analogy applies when you, when you look at the subwoofer. Uh, most guys they look at the sub and they say, "Man, look at the butt on the back. Look at the ass on it." Yeah, that's cool too. Look at the butt on the back, but also look at this cone. How much air is being moved? And that's what I'm trying to tell you, my channel. How much air is being moved per stroke? This woofer moves 20 millimeters. I think this will move 17.5. This actually moves farther, but when you put it in the ported box, you're going to control that. It's not going to reach its full X max anyway, but still. It's still moving however many times the hertz is forward and backwards. And on each stroke, on each move forward, air is being com being uh, compressed. And each move backwards, air is being rarefied. Depending on what side we inside the box and out. And it's moving more air than the smaller driver. So which makes it more efficient. Cone air is king. You can't get away from cone air is king. All of the facts being equal. Same power handling, increased power handling, because as you go up in size, you're going to increase the power handling ability. Why? Because the woofer, because of its larger size, is able to cool off the voice coil a lot easier because it's moving more air over the coil than the smaller driver. So you're going to play louder longer on a given amount of power. Then you, you put a 1,000 watts on this, it's going to heat up. And when it starts to heat up, the power, the, the sound going to diminish. And well, I already showed y'all the video, two videos, this thing on the 1,000 watts, it was barely moving. This joke gonna move all over the place. You seen the free air video, the comp cue. Nah, man, that joke gonna move it. Yeah, on the same app, put on the 15, barely moving. You're saying it's sluggish. It's not sluggish. It's just that because it's so large, your eye can't perceive that it's moving the exact same amount of times that this woofer was doing. But it's moving more air per stroke. So it's going to be louder. It's also because it can handle the same power handling as a smaller driver, but stay significantly cooler. It's going to play louder longer. Cone air is king. You can't get away from it. Cone air is king. But you only can run what you have, what you can run correctly. Yes, cone air is king, but you don't cram knees in the side out. You don't put two Q class fit, comp Q15s in a Honda Fit. You put two of these in a Honda Fit. You don't put this in a Honda Fit. This, if it's moving more air, it needs more air behind it. It needs a big spring behind it. And when we go talking about motor structures, look on the manual. This boy here can rarefy and compress six cubes. SQ box for this. Six cubes. Six cubes. That's a, that's a big box. And it has the strength to rarefy and compress six cubes of air. Hoffman's Iron Law, efficiency, small box, or deep base. Kicker say F the small box. We ain't thinking about the small box. I want a strong enough motor and enough strength in the gap for efficiency, deep base. Put this boy in six cubes, and I guarantee you, your hair trick, whatever you want, he gonna do it. But he don't have a big motor structure. Uh, he, but he's more efficient at converting signal into sound. He's got strength. He's like your boy when you look at me. I'm not a real, real big dude, but let me take you in the gym. At 48 years old, I make 28 year old throw, throw up because I'm efficient. <laughs> I'm efficient. <laughs> you see it? I'm efficient. Please hit the video, Battle. We're doing 15, you told me right there. Yes, Lord.